Thanks for visiting us here at T-Equipment. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between the FLIR 1 Pro and the Seek Thermal Compact Pro. Both are excellent cameras that are a welcome addition to any smartphone. You're going to be able to add thermal imaging capabilities and be able to have a fully featured smartphone in the palm of your hand without paying an exorbitant amount of money and having to lug around an extra tool. A couple key differences between these cameras. Here's the Seek, and here's the FLIR. So you can see the Seek is quite a bit smaller. A uh, big reason for that is that the FLIR needs to carry its own internal battery. So what that means is you need to charge your FLIR 1 separately which can be good because it doesn't drain your phone battery. On the other hand, if you run out of battery with your FLIR 1, you can't use it. So it gives you two devices to charge instead of one. Since the runtime on the FLIR 1 is only about an hour, that's a limiting factor in a lot of cases. But an hour of thermography is going to be a long time using a phone-based platform like this. So it's up to you whether, whether your application uh, is more intense and you still want to go with the phone based platform that is a consideration the other thing to keep in mind is that the resolution between these two devices is very different the Seek Thermal Compact is going to have a 320 by 240 sensor and the FLIR 1 Pro has a 160 by 120 sensor so that means the Seek has four times as many pixels on target as the FLIR. It doesn't necessarily mean that the Seek is always going to have the best image though. The FLIR camera has what FLIR has patented as MSX, which means you get the visual details of whatever you're looking at interlaced with your thermal image. And that could be a big difference in terms of overall image quality and usability. So if you want to have the ability to read labels, say in a breaker box, or you, you need the visual details to come back and find whatever thermal anomaly you located, FLIR might have the edge because of that MSX. It has its own onboard visual camera, so it captures both a visual image and a thermal image at the same time. The Seek will utilize your phone's camera, but there's some parallax issues when you try and look back and forth of them because the camera apertures are as far apart as your phone allows. So having them line up perfectly can be a problem. Now the other thing is that the Seek Thermal is technically more sensitive has a 70 millikelvin rating, which corresponds to 0 0.07 degrees Celsius. The FLIR 1 Pro has 150 millikelvin thermal sensitivity, or 0 0.15 degrees Celsius. A lot of anomalies are going to be much greater than that sensitivity, but it adds in creating the kind of continuous granularity in your images that have the highest level of sensitivity that you can get. The Seek has a 15 hertz refresh rate, whereas the FLIR 1 Pro has a 9 hertz refresh rate. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that does mean that you can't take the Seek Thermal Pro out of the country without a license from the Commerce Department. You don't want to be arrested at the airport for uh, a little phone accessory that might end up in the wrong hands and is considered a weapon by the United States. It's kind of cool, but the big thing about the image frequency is that it makes scanning and looking at moving objects much more possible. So with 15 hertz refresh rate, you can, you can move your phone and the field of view uh, a little bit more smoothly than the FLIR 1 with 9 hertz. The 
Reveal Pro also has uh, an adjustable focus ring, so you can manually dial in the focus. The FLIR one is all auto-focusing. It's going to work very well most of the time, but as any professional photographer knows, sometimes you just need to dial it in just to get the best possible image, uh, especially at, at short distances or small targets or things that have a little bit of difference of depth of field where the autofocusing feature just doesn't, uh, doesn't capture what you're looking for. So that can be another consideration. But it's the proof is in the pudding, really. Uh, the only way to tell which one is best for you is looking at a couple of images side by side. So let's do that now. So here we have our Seek app, the Compact Pro FF, looking at a breaker box. See, we got a couple of warm spots here. Might be interesting to check the loads on those breakers. Think about swapping them out. Do a little manual focus here. You can see I can, can really, really crisp it up. change the palettes for my application. Perhaps the, the high-low color alarm is a good fit. I'll just do high, actually. I can also automatically select the hottest and coolest parts of the scene. Or I can do a center spot reticle. Here's, here's the way the Seek Reveal Pro does what isn't picture in picture, but you, you, get, you get one half thermal one half visible and as you can see over here is my visual and over here is my thermal so they they don't line up very well at all and that that can be less than ideal here we've got our FLIR one pro you can see I got a center spot up. It's in Celsius, but we're not really looking for true temperature here, just qualitative measurements. The MSX lets you see all those little labels on the side. So if I took an image and came back to it later, I would know which breaker I was looking at with much greater certainty than with the Seek camera. I can do a lot of the same things. I can, can switch between my visible camera, the blended, and just the thermal. I'm going to go back to the, the blended MSX because that's, that's the best most of the time. I can also change my color palettes. And here is FLIR's iteration of the same kind of high temperature color alarm. You can see we're getting very similar results. Let's turn off the MSX though. Go back and look at more of a true comparison between these two. Turn off that spot. So there's, there's the raw FLIR thermal image in all its glory. The Seek just has a, a sharper detail. So most of the time, 
having a higher resolution is going to be a lot better. But FLIR makes up the difference with MSX in spades. So that's the FLIR one and the Seek Thermal. Both of these pro models are great for most applications, but they have their differences. Another thing to keep in mind is that FLIR images are fully radiometric and can be exported into the FLIR tools app for later analysis and professional reporting. Seek doesn't have a complimentary software suite. So if you need to submit a report and you're deciding between these two, I definitely recommend the FLIR. Thanks so much for coming by. My name is Devin, professional thermographer with T-Equipment. If you have any other questions regarding your application or equipment suitability, please give T-Equipment a call or send us an email. We'd be happy to help in any way we can.